Let's begin with that breaking news coming out of Texas. A jury in Austin has ordered that conspiracy theorist Alex Jones has to pay two Sandy Hook parents an additional $45.2 million in punitive damages. Because for years, Jones said that the shooting massacre was a hoax, falsely claiming it was orchestrated by the U.S. government in order to tighten gun laws. Sarah Glashen is following this story for us. So, Sarah, what are we hearing from the court? Well, Natasha, so this money is going to be paid to the parents of six-year-old Jesse Lewis, who is one of the 20 children, six and six staff members who were killed in the Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre in Newtown, Connecticut, back in 2012. This follows a, a two-week trial. Jones accused of defamation in this uh, for calling the Sandy Hook uh, shooting a government hoax, as you say. The premise he asserted was to try and... Uh, take guns away from Americans, and he went so far as to calling these grieving parents crisis actors who were being used by the government to that end. Uh, the parents of Jesse Lewis, uh, they testified that followers of Jones, and he certainly has many um, followers of him, both him and his website podcast, Infowars, that they harassed these parents. They sent them death threats for years, and so they filed this defamation suit in Texas where Alex Jones is based, and now we have this verdict, this uh, large sum of money that they are to be paid by Alex Jones. Sarah, there might be a degree of confusion because it was just yesterday that Jones was ordered to pay $4.1 million in compensatory, uh, compensatory damages. So what's the difference yeah, so between yesterday and today? Right. So, and, and, that, and that's fair. So compensatory damages, uh, the $4.1 million that we learned about yesterday, that uh, is awarded by the court to cover the plaintiff's suffering and losses. The $45.2 million is considered to be punitive, and that is uh, the purpose of that is to punish the defendant, Alex Jones, for his actions in this. And I'll just say, the, the, the two plaintiffs in this, the parents, uh, they actually had asked for a sum quite a bit larger. We did hear from the lawyer representing Alex Jones in terms of um, their take in terms of the the amount now that has been in total awarded by the court i want to play you what he said we think the verdict was too high as for punitive damages texas law caps them at seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars per plaintiff so this verdict today amounts to 1.5 million dollars in punitives Alex Jones will be on the air today. He'll be on the air tomorrow. He'll be on the air next week. He's going to keep doing um, his job, holding the power structure accountable. Um, that's our only thing. Now, incidentally, there are more plaintiffs to come. Another damages trial is set to begin September 14th, and in that, the parents of Noah Posner, uh, the youngest to be killed in the Sandy Hook massacre, uh, they will be uh, filing a similar uh, case against Alex Jones. Where might Alex Jones get the money to make these payments? You heard his lawyer say that uh, they will be, or he's indicating that they plan to appeal, and he, he has already said that. Uh, but in court, as part of the testimony, we've learned that uh, Alex Jones, it's believed, has made quite a bit of money off of misinformation and hate. Uh, he and Infowars info are estimated to be worth between $135 million to $270 million. Uh, for his part, while he was testifying, fine, Jones did apologize to the parents, did acknowledge, and I quote, that uh, Sandy Hook massacre was 100% real. But, Natasha, he also did preemptively file for bankruptcy just last week. Just an incredible story. Thanks so much for the latest, Sarah. You bet.